Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to incorporate a little bit of uh, what I did in one of my older, older tutorials. And if you do not know what I'm talking about, it's this tutorial right here. We're going to be incorporating some of the motion detection and on CR. And we're going to incorporate it with speech recognition and how to use uh, you can make your computer actually tell you and read what is seen. So this is what we're doing in this tutorial. Uh, and if you haven't seen, if you do not know what I'm talking about, or if you want the code, you, you can go back and watch these four tutorials. These first two are in C++, this one is in Python. So, but uh, for for what we're doing today, it doesn't, it doesn't matter whether it's Python or, or uh, C++ because I, I will just be doing a batch file so it's, it's, it will work with Python or, or it will work with uh, C++. It's this one right here and I, I spoke to you and I told you what was in it in those tutorials. So now let's just run this executable here. So let's go with this one and and what the same thing that we did in in those two i'm just going to create motion with my hands and actually it didn't work because i have something open and these guys are still open here so let's just close them and these ones yes for squid and now let's do it again and then go motion and now i only have one camera on this computer so so now it's, it's not doing anything and it's waiting for motion to happen just like i explained i don't want that one which one i do want let me just show you what is being created it's not that one and it's this one right here so you're gonna see now nothing is happening because I'm not creating motion. But now I'm going to raise my hands and block the light a little bit. And you're going to see the image, these were created. So I took these. And now what I'm going to have the computer do is actually read to me what it sees. And let's see how well it does. And this is, I'm using thresholds. So I'm going to move again, block the light again. So you see them being created. It's a different threshold now. And I'm going to do it again. And you see, as I block the light, that it takes more images. I don't want to do it too many of them because then it's going to take too long. So I just have a few now. So I'm just going to stop it here. And now it created all of these images. But now I'm going to take what is in this image I'm going to read it, or I'm going to attempt to read that. Uh, I just grabbed a magazine that I had next to me from the IEE, so this is where I got this from. So sorry, I didn't have anything more excited to read. So now I'm going to run the test batch, and it's going to create a foreground and a background. And if you do not know what I'm talking about, watch my tutorials and you'll see. And now, how many? Five, eight, so five, seven, eight. So it's going to start soon. I'm going to stop talking so you can hear the computer trying to read what is in these images. I'm going to open this so you can see, and we'll test it and see how well it does. I mean, it's not going to catch everything. This is just as a proof of concept for when you are uh, testing your algorithms and making sure that they, how well they do in the real world. So I'm using live video and live images and testing it on it. And it's got one, two, three, four, five. It's got three more to go, two more to go. And it's going to read each one of these images. So it's going to seem like it's in a loop, but all it's doing is 
taking each one of these images and reading what is in it. And now, once it starts, I'm going to stop talking. And it should be, this should be the last one. Almost done, almost done. And, and down here in this image, in this uh, terminal here, I, I'm going to uh, show you what it's actually reading from. So you see, you can test it with the real image and the uh, text that is actually reading. It's almost done. Sorry, guys, it's taking so long. And I didn't take, I didn't think it was going to take this long. And what this invalid resolution means, if it's not happy with the resolution, it's going to use a resolution of 70. And you can change it, you can play around and tweak it to whatever application that you're trying to use. It's almost done. I think it's done. So it's going to start very soon. Ignite. There it goes. A rock star technology invent. The truth behind technology. Ignite. A rock star technology invent. The truth behind technology. March 21-22, 2017, Burlingame, car, technologies, trends, tech gurus, ignite, a rock star technology event, the truth behind technology, March 21-22, 2017, Burlingame, car, is, mean, and, Seven and technologies a ignite a rock star technology event the truth behind technology March 21 22 2017 Burlingame car future technologies trends tech gurus ignite a rock star technology event I the truth behind and this, I'm going to stop it there. And this is what it's actually doing. What it's doing is reading each one of these images. As you can see, it's reading each one of them and, and, and just reads every one of them. So it seems like it's going through a loop, but it's actually just going through each one of them. And if you want to see how well it did, let me show you here the test that act. Uh... LS, and let me show you here what's test SRT, and this is how it did. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but it, what it was doing, it was reading. This is the actual thing that it was reading. So it was saying a rock star technology event, the truth behind technology, and so on. And as you can see, sometimes it did better. I mean, it, it, the 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 uh, the speech recognition uh, is just going by whatever is in the text. So if Tesseract doesn't do a very good job, then the, the text, the, the, the speech recognition is not going to do a very good job either because it's based on the text. But you know what I'm talking about. But this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter and GitHub, and I will watch you next time with another tutorial. Thanks for watching.